My name is John LaRue, and uh, the, the company is Natural Horizons. And I, I started thinking about uh, uh, the problem of, of things being visible and people not liking things visible, but they like the things that are visible there in, in terms of the broadcast towers, the cell phone towers, and so on. Especially in a place like Vermont, uh, you don't want the, the uh, wind generator on top of a mountain, but that's most of the time the right place for it. The concept is, uh, begins with the same concept as the uh, optical fibers that's used to make the World Wide Web part of the physical aspect of the internet that carries your little jokes all around the world. The idea that we have here is that we use the light from the background sky and try to bring that light and transmit that around the object. It's done by light that's captured inside of a piece of clear material. And the idea is you put a coating on here where the light that strikes this side of the object will be transmitted around the object and later on make it so that it is expelled, emitted. There are really three questions. What causes the light to be captured that comes here? What causes it to continue to be transmitted around the object? And what causes it to get off the boat, if you will, as it goes around? You have this optical fiber, two-dimensional thing that you coat on here that covers the whole object so that any light, any place along here is contained within that and is transmitted all around it. You put uh, an irregularity in there, something to change the direction of the light at some particular point. It, it becomes, in that sense, a, a light management question. What you typically want it to be is less visible to people that are looking at it from the north side or the south side or the east side or the west side. In order to do this, what you need is something that dynamically, continuously reflects the sky background. 